is Pastor Weaver again. I'm um, I'm grateful to you for tuning in today to just get a word of encouragement, a word of challenge, a word of affirmation, confirmation, uh, just a word of encouragement. Um, I wanted to um, share with you from uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13 today, and I wanted to address the issue, what is love to you? Um, 1 Corinthians 13 answers that question, and it says there in verse number four, it said, love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and it keeps no record of wrongs, a record of being wrong. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith. It's always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. I wanted to ask you, and I am just want to encourage you to say, um, what is love to you? How are you loving people? Uh, in this culture and in this climate of our country, uh, how are you demonstrating love? I know it's a lot of anger. I know it's a lot of frustration. I know it's a lot of injustice. I, I know that I see this taking place uh, on a daily level. A lot of uh, uh, slander, uh, backbiting, name calling, and things of that nature. But let me ask you, what are you doing? Um, you can't be responsible for what somebody else does and their actions of how they do things, but you can be responsible for yourself. And the real issue is, how are you loving? Are you, like Paul wrote there, are you kind? Or are you rude? Are you boastful or are you humble? Are you gentle or are you forceful? Uh, what, what, what characterizes you when people see you? Are you patient? Or are you, you know, just uh, impatient? So this is a real challenge to all of us to look at ourselves and evaluate ourselves in times like this in a culture that is so chaotic and confusing that we really, we need to do introspection. Uh, we don't need to just point our finger at the White House, at the courthouse, at the Congress House, at the Senate House, or at somebody else's house and act like we live in a glass house. We need to look at our own house and I'm talking about this house here, which makes up the body of Christ. And so we need to look at ourselves. Be encouraged and ask yourself, what is love to you? Who are you loving on this week? And if you're not doing that, make a conscious effort to be more loving. God bless you.